Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Just thought I'd return to you for a album review this afternoon for Keith Wallen's new record, Infinity Now, that I got a chance to listen to for myself to see what I was going to think of this whole album. It's not a long album, it's only 32 and a half minutes, but I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this new record from Keith Wallen and let you know my thoughts on this album overall, so let's dive into this album review. Now it starts with the opening track, Infinity, and off the bat, it's not one of my favorites, but it's decent at least, above decent. I mean, his vocal sounded really good in it, but this was my least favorite song from the record, so I'd give this a 4.25 out of 5 for this one. I don't know, I just, the melody was kind of off, and just how it sounded with the IC Infinity and all that stuff, it just, this track was kind of a, a little bit of a skip. So give me one second, I gotta pause the video. Sorry about that guys, my mom was um, calling me, she needed help with something. So. Yeah, Infinity is a 4.25 out of 5. Strings is the next track. And that is a pretty good song. I really enjoyed Keith Wallen's vocals. It is a little short for the runtime. But it's very effective. The track was that good. For sure. So, it's a 5 out of 5 for me. Headspace Holiday is a great song. I really like this track. Keith Wallen sounds really good. The breakdown in the... Uh, bridge part of the track was actually pretty excellent and I really enjoyed his vocals in this track so 5 out of 5 for Headspace Holiday. The Wolf uh, was a really melodic song but it sounded really good for what it went for. Sorry about the background noise that's my uh, nephew doing the hack thing but The Wolf is a really nice track. I like the lyrics to it some of the lyrics are hit or miss but still the track worked for what it went for and i'd give it a five out of five don't fall asleep is a pretty good song um i didn't hate this for what it went for but it's pretty strong for what it went for so this is a five out of five as well keith mullen sounds really good in this track with his vocals and the execution was pretty good nemesis is another pretty strong track for what it went for. I really like Keith Wallen's uh, vocal potential in this track and just how the track is sounding really catchy with the guitar work, drum work, and the melody sounding pretty on point. So this is another five out of five. Blackout was probably one of my favorites. I think the ending to the album got really good uh, for how it sounded. So. Uh, this is a 5 out of 5. This is one of my favorite tracks, uh, Blackout was. Because uh, Keith Wallen's vocals sounded really good, and just the execution sounded on point for what it went for. So, yeah. Crown of Thorns is a pretty strong track for what it went for. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Keith Wallen's vocals in this, and the drum work and guitar work was pretty on point and pretty excellent for what it went for so this is a five out of five as well crush me was actually really strong of a track um really like how the vocals sounded in this track from keith wallen the execution with the drum work and guitar work was quite on point and i really dug this track five out of five and finally dear father give me a second i'll gotta pause it again Sorry about that, uh, my sister's cat wanted in my room. So, finally we get to the closing track, Dear Father. Quite an excellent song for what it went for. I really enjoyed the vocals from this track, from Keith Wallen, and just the execution of the melody was pretty good. So, this track worked for what it went for. Um, so, I'd give this a 5 out of 5. Sorry, this my sister's cat's being annoying for some odd reason. He's trying to sit too close to me, and I'm like, no, I gotta finish up on something. So, pretty much, Keith Wallen's vocal potential was pretty good, and just the way the song, song structurally sounded, it was really excellent. So, overall, 
production, mixing, and execution-wise, I found myself actually liking this record. I wouldn't say Infinity was my favorite. That The opening track was pretty weak. Uh, it was decent, but it was a little weak. Probably above decent. But the overall record impressed me for what it went for overall. And I think this record is going to get a 9 out of 10 in my opinion. So for a score for me, like I said, I'm giving this record Infinity Now by Keith Wallen, his new album, a 9 out of 10. Pretty strong record. Definitely recommend checking it out for yourself to see what you think of it overall. And it is worth checking out. And sorry, I'm this my sister's cat is being annoying and just uh, trying to crush stuff of important papers of mine but still the record impressed me and I really enjoyed this album for what it offered me so with that being said 9 out of 10 for Keith Wall and Infinity Now sorry about my congestion I think I caught something again uh, some kind of sinus infection there's been a lot of weird colds or whatever been going around and it's just been bugging the crap out of me that I got another one and I'm like, oh my fucking god, when does it ever end? <laughs> so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this album review for Keith Wallen's new record, Infinity Now. Definitely worth checking out this record. See what you think of it. And thanks for watching the review.